Hello lovely, in this video we're gonna give you modal answers about science. An IELTS speaking part 1 topic, I'm Maria. And my name is Rory and we're here to help you prepare for IELTS speaking and a fun along the way. In the first part of the video we are giving you the answers to the exam questions and in the second part we crack jokes, laugh and give you gorgeous grammar and discuss fabulous vocabulary. So watch us till the very end. And if you really like us after all that, then you can have a look in the description and we've got a little link to our part two and part, oh, part two, part two and part three premium episodes. So you can check those out there. Oh, Rory, and can I say that our subscribers should uh, smash the like button? I think they should sensitively rub the like button. Ah, uh, Rory, let's talk about science, shall we? Okay. Did you study science at school? Yeah, we had biology and chemistry and physics in high school. Um, although I dodged the last one because I was terrible at maths and apparently you need lots of maths and physics. Um, even in primary, we did some isolated experiments here and there. When did you start learning it? Well, in the UK, your formal education in science begins in primary school. However, I was reading sort of small science books for children even before then and outside of school as well. It's a shame I never really got into it after all that reading. Um, well, after all the reading I used to do, actually. Did you like science classes when you were a child? I think I preferred reading about science more than actually doing it, to be honest with you. The classes were always very dry, formal and boring compared to the, well, relatively more bright and exciting books. Um, so it put me off the subject quite a bit when we actually had to do the practical stuff. Had to do the practical stuff. What was your favourite and least favourite science subject at school? You know, I always did well in biology. Um, chemistry was always a nightmare because, well, there's maths involved um, in that as well, um, especially in the more complex experiments that you had to conduct. Um, I didn't really bother with physics um, because that was even more math-centric, so I couldn't tell you about that. How do you use science every day? Well, to be honest, I... I doubt I or anyone else outside of a lab actually does. We use the end product of science more than the process itself. I mean, for example, I know um, how a light bulb works, but it's my knowledge of other things that lets me work to be able to buy one and then a different set of knowledge that allows me to flick a switch to turn it on. Do you think science classes are important? I think that depends what it's in comparison to. Um, so if it's in comparison to, to maths and English, then no. Um, it's more important to be generally literate than scientifically literate if you have to choose between the two. Um, it shouldn't be a choice, but when you have a limited amount of time to work with, it's better to work with the more broadly applicable knowledge base than something that's more narrow, or narrower, I should say. Do you think school children should have both science and art classes? T together or separately, uh, regardless, I think it's uh, important to develop an awareness and appreciation of art and science, if only to get by in the world. But are they as crucial as general literacy and numeracy? Probably not. Not for a living. Science. Oh. You know, I prefer collecting things. <laughs> or I prefer talents. In terms of talking about them? Yeah, in terms of just, you know chit-chatting but science maybe i wasn't good at science and by science we mean science subjects such as what biology chemistry physics mathematics yeah those are the big ones i mean there are other ones which are separate in a combination of the three mm, but yeah if i think about science i think about mathematics physics okay chemistry but what are other science subjects? Well, you have environmental science, which is like a combination of chemistry and mathematics. Uh, well, sorry, chemistry, mathematics and uh, biology. The combination of chemistry, mathematics and biology in one subject? Well, with a focus on the environment, yeah. Yeah, Mr. White. Yeah, science. And science at school, right? And you can say, like, we had biology, chemistry, yeah, physics. It's physics, not physics, no, no physics in high school, right? And Rory said that um, in the UK, formal education starts in, like formal education in science begins in primary school, 
right? So primary school from the first um, form to the fourth, right? If you're in England, yeah. Um, in Scotland, it's like primary education is primary one to seven. Okay. All right. It's kind of complicated. It's not complicated. Well, it is, but only when you're comparing things. Okay. But again, dear listeners, so primary school. So first we have primary and then secondary and then high school, right? So we can say no. that, oh, I started. <laughs> no. You're, in Scotland, there's just primary and high school. But you can have, I think Americans have middle school, which is where you go when you're a preteen. Uh, and then they have high school, which is for teenagers. But we just have two. We have primary school for y- young children and then high school for teenagers. Why should you be so special, you Scottish? No secondary school? Um, well, we had a separate education system before the countries uh, had a political union, so that's why. Also, the development of education in Scotland is different to England. You see, dear listener, this is what I mean. This is already complicated. <laughs> Science. Anyway, you can say that I started learning science in primary school or when I was seven, when I was six. And then, Rory, you said that you dodged the last one so i just didn't do it i was given the choice to do physics and i was like that's that's going to be a disaster so no yeah so if you dodge something you just say no to it right what else can we dodge bullets oh dodge bullets so uh, somebody like is uh, shooting and then you like dodge bullets like a superman or superwoman or like neo in the matrix But the point is you dodge something that you don't want to do. And then you can speak about experiments. So Rory had some experiments, experiments in terms of uh, scientific experiments. Do you do experiments or you make experiments? You do experiments, but really that's a bit of a simple verb and I shouldn't have said that. But I recovered later, I said conduct experiments. And then it's a shame or it was a shame that I never really got into it. So it was a pity that Rory didn't get into science. But that's just when something is unfortunate. Then Rory said that I preferred reading to science classes. And then because classes, science classes were dull, dry, formal and boring, this put him off. So this put me off the subject quite a bit. So if something puts you off it means that kind of you don't like it right it's kind of like Ew. yeah like Ew. it's like this you know when i kind of like this or that right this is my science right this is my science right so this dior or uh cl- cl- clarence clarence paris mm, no this color mm, no dior okay <laughs> is this does it make sense no no, not in the slightest, but we'll get by. So we can, you can say that um, the fact that the classes were dry, formal and boring put me off the subject. So put me off the subject. No, they were very dry, very formal and very boring. Right. And then you did well in biology, right, Rory? Well, relative to the other two. So if you do well in something or do well at something, then it's good and it's not um, difficult and you're getting good results. You can say I did well in mathematics, in biology, in physics, and for example, chemistry was a nightmare, right? Or biology was a nightmare, or mathematics or science subjects were a nightmare. It was a disaster, right? For example, or I did well in all science subjects. And Rory didn't even bother with physics because we remember what did Rory do? He, eh, 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 he dodged physics, so he stopped doing this, or he didn't choose to do it. I didn't even bother with it. Uh, did you bother with um, literature or with art, with PE classes, physical education? I hated art and I hated PE. The only things I was good at at high school were English and history. And then we can speak about the lab, because science, we conduct experiments in a lab. Or laboratory. Laboratory, yeah. Laboratory. A lab, laboratory, lab. So anyone else outside a lab actually does use science every day on a regular basis. And then we can talk about what? 
We know how a light bulb works. A light bulb? Edison? <laughs> this. Hmm? And then we flick a switch. Yeah. But you don't need to know about science to know that how to work a light bulb. That was kind of what I was saying. People place a lot of emphasis on this and it's like, maybe if you want to work in a lab, then yes. But really, most people just want to know where to get the light bulb and how to make it work. And then we can say, it's not rocket science to switch on the light. I huh? did not say that, did I? No, because this is expression, it's not rocket science. So if you say like, oh, the conditionals in English, oh, they're so difficult. And we go, huh, it's not rocket science. It's easy. Well, you say it's not rocket science. I say, oh my God, it's conditionals. Get me out of here. So we can also say something about being literate. So are science classes important? And Rory said that being literate is more important. So if a person is literate, what does it mean? Well, they can... Hmm. Generally, it means that they can read and write, but now um, it also means that people can speak and listen effectively. Yeah, but usually we say, I can read and write, so I'm literate. Or if I can't read or write, I'm illiterate. And you can say it's more important to be literate, like generally literate, than scientifically literate. So scientifically literate, you mean just to, to have knowledge of mathematics, of biology, chemistry, uh, what else? Space? <laughs> what do you call it? Astronomy? Astronomy. And then we can say that it's important to develop appreciation of science and appreciation of art. Okay, well, sometimes science is more art than science, Morty. A lot of people don't get that. Can we say appreciation? Appreciation, appreciation. I say appreciation, but I th I've heard people say appreciation. So both, both, right? So art classes or science classes develop, we should develop appreciation or appreciation of both. Well, yes, but that just means that you can, you understand the purposes of both and how they work, but not necessarily like all of the details. I think that might be outside of, you know, how a lot of children work. Um, and really it's more important they can read and write before they do any of that. Yeah, so first they read and write and then they do the science stuff. Well, I, I, it all happens at the same time. If I have to choose, then I need to place more of a focus on literacy. First of all, because that's the thing that's assessed. And then second of all, because that's the thing that's more broadly applicable, which just means that you can use it in a variety of situations. Nice. So, dear listener, could you please let us know in the comments, what about you? Do you enjoy science or not much? And also, if you do, which science subjects uh, do you like? Um, what were you good at? So, I was good at biology or I did well in chemistry. I didn't do well in any of the science subjects. I had uh, what the worst mark for chemistry. No, geometry, geometry. I had two. We have like uh, one, two, three, four, five. Five is the best. And I had like two for uh, geometry. And it was like a midterm and it was really bad. So they wanted to kick me out just because of this is geometry. Well, it didn't do you any, well, harm in the long run. No, because then I copied somebody else's <laughs> work during the test and then... What it, a great moral lesson. No, it didn't because I cheated. <laughs> Oh, I couldn't do the sums, so. <sighs> School days, those were the days. Yeah, let us know in the comment section, please. And um, like our um, videos. And we'll see you next time. Bye. Bye.